Hello everyone, welcome back to the Mission Channel 33. I am Tatiana. I'm here to help solve missing women shooting in men cases. We are here to break the codes if we see any. We are here to see where their bodies are located if they know. And we also here to see if they're alive, the deceased, body suited, change their identity or misidentity. Your average should know who's involved, so let's begin. <clears throat> This is titled, Death of Derek Griffin. Buddy reached the former Atlanta officer indicted in teen's murder. Okay. This is him. This is the man, that the officer that did it, okay. Olivia Simmons was found not guilty Oliver Simmons was found not guilty of all charges in connection to the death of 18-year-old Deptic Griffin in 2019, his attorney confirmed. A former Atlanta police officer was found not guilty on all charges in connection to the death of an 18-year-old in 2019. Oliver Simmons was found not guilty of felony murder, aggravated assault, and two counts of violation of oath of office, his attorney Jackie Patterson said. Okay, so he's seen something he was not supposed to see. I'm seeing that uh, book, um, Blue, Blue Full High. I forgot which one, though. The one with the gun. Something like that. He retired from APD and Joe wants to move forward with life, Patterson told Eleven Alive. Simmons was indicted back in 2022 after teenager Detective Griffin was shot and killed after allegedly trying to steal the officer's unmarked police car. Okay, so he license plate. He finally get his license plate. Like I said, he seen something, and he finally get his license plate. Eleven Alive previously reported how Simmons was off duty and in plain clothes at the time. The shooting happened at the Shell gas station on White Hall Street, southwest between Northside Drive and McDaniel Street. According to the GBI, Griffin entered the car and attempted to drive away. The officers tried to stop the car as it drove off and fired his service ripping. Okay. Yes. Griffin allegedly killed driving southbound on White High, White Hall Street and hit two cars before coming to a stop. So basically he's deceased in a car, okay? He got shot in the car. Atlanta officers who responded found that Griffin died at the scene. The 18 year old was just months away from graduating from Benjamin E. Mays High School and wanting to become an uh, aviation mechanic. Who? Okay, some regarding a machine okay like so he could be in there or something his family told 11 a lot of the 19 he loved football and wore a decorated athlete with the trophies to prove it his mother geisha glover that heard i just said that described her son as outgoing with a smile that could brighten up a room a lot of kids looked up to him his teacher admired him he had he just had four months left before graduating and on to aviation camp Glover said, "The fam yeah, he going, he's in hell right now, okay, basically. The family's attorney, Jonathan Hibby, told 11 Alive, they had 19, that Griffin was unarmed and dropping away from the scene. Just because his officer was upset that somebody may have offended him or jumped in his car, whatever actually occurred, we see no grounds for the officer to have em emptied his gun into the body of Detective Griffin. Hibble said, immediately after Griffin's death, APD said Simmons was placed on a non-enforcement assignment after learning about the indictment. APD said Simmons was relieved from his administration assignment and suspended without pay. Less than two weeks after the indictment, the department said he would retire from the force. Okay, just in that category, okay? I'm saying when it comes to them, some are going to, you know, like in elementary, you have field day. It's like that, okay? I hate to help with this case, y'all can. I don't do it for the fame or the money. I do it because it's what I love to do. And to the real families of these victims, corporate America will set y'all up. Thank y'all. Peace and be safe.